Hello, uh, welcome everyone to another video in the guesstimate series brought to you by Upscale Talks. Today, uh, me and Archit uh, will go through a walk around of another more guesstimate interview for you guys. So, hello Archit, welcome. Um, hi Rishabh, how are you? I'm great Archit, how are you? Same here. Alright, so should we start with the guesstimate? Yeah, sure. Okay, so today, can you solve this guesstimate for us? Uh, can you estimate the number of PCM medicines sold in India? Um, sure, Rishabh. Just um, can you just give me some time to gather my thoughts and some prepare some questions that I can ask you regarding this? Sure. So take your time, Rishabh. Um, so, uh, just to reiterate the question, uh, what I have understood, so that um, so you want me to uh, calculate the number of PCM medicines sold in India uh, throughout one year, right? Yes. Okay. Um, so I have a few questions in this regard. Um, it can be. Uh, can you please answer those questions to me? So uh, my first question is that um, be, if you want me to calculate the number of tablets or the number of strips, um, what what is the answer that to answer? Uh, you can go ahead by calculating the number of tablets. Okay, sure. Um, so uh, also, can you just tell me uh, when is the PCM medicine prescribed so that I can be more thorough in my approach? Uh, you can consider whenever a person has symptoms related to cough or fever. Okay, sure. Um, also, um, can I consider this to be a normal scenario because, you know, uh, since the COVID has hit us, so a lot of uh, cases have been increased wherein yes. the PCM medicine are used. So can I consider it to be a normal scenario? Yes, please consider uh, this scenario under normal health conditions. Okay, sure. So um, I will just take a couple of um, seconds to, you know, just gather my thought and um, I will just let you know how, how I will go about this problem statement. Sure, you can take a couple of minutes. So, um, according to me, um, see, I, uh, I think I should go about this problem statement. Um, I should follow the top to bottom approach as in, I should start with the, uh, population of India and then, um, I should probably divide them into number of subgroups, uh, dividing them on the basis of their age. So let's say I will go approximately, um, in the division of four and, uh, you know, uh, all of these age divisions have, uh, different, uh, capabilities of falling ill. Uh, so uh, let's say that he, uh, if a person is above 68, so he's probably likely more more likely to fall ill so um uh, considering those scenarios i will probably like to calculate how many times um does that person or the uh, the person the people in that age particular age group fall ill during the uh, during a particular year and then you know calculate how in how many of those cases is the pcm medicine required as you mentioned that the symptoms could be of cough and fever so um uh, considering those can, uh, scenarios after that i will be calculating based on that how much uh, how much medicine is required if a person falls ill so um after that we i think we can uh, probably come to a number to solve this guesstimate so can i just go about this problem statement or uh, this uh, this sure. approach yeah that sounds like a good approach okay sure um um, so for the starters, um, I think I can consider the um, population of India to be 140 crore. Is that a fair assumption? Yeah, fair enough. Okay. Um, um, also, I think um, I will be uh, dividing the population into four segments. So according to me, first would be 0 to 18. That is my first age group. Another one I will go with the 40, 18 to 40. That is That would be my second. Uh, next would be probably from 40 to 60. And uh, all those people who are above 60. So I have classified them under one con uh, one, one problem. Okay. Um, so um, yeah, also, right. um, um, uh, what do you think? Uh, that uh, I probably uh, think that the 25% uh, uh, number is a uh, perfect for uh, you know this age group belonging to 18 to uh, 0 to 18 class um, is that fair enough so can i go with 20 percent as my assumption or uh, 25 percent as my assumption for the age group 0 yes. to 25 uh, 0 to 18 uh, sorry. yes that seems reasonable okay um so my 0 to 18 would be 25 percent uh post that i will be uh allocating uh 30 percent uh, to my um 18 to 40 class um 30 percent similarly will go to my 40 to 60 and the rest that is remaining with the 15 percent so i i will be probably giving it to my uh you know the 60 plus class is that good enough sure 
that sounds like a fair assumption okay um so um also i think that uh, you know a person be- uh, belonging in age group 0 to 18 will probably fall uh, ill let's say two times a year so um uh, what do you think on this uh, can i go ahead with this are you sure that uh, a person in this age group is only going to fall uh, ill two times a year because uh, in 0 to 18 category i guess infants are part of this too and as we know that uh, they fall sick quite easily okay um yeah that seems a uh, reasonable um you know uh, p- counter to this uh, my answer so let me uh, just give me a second and i will just come up with a new number uh, in this regard so sure, please let me take a minute um so uh, considering uh, what all you have mentioned um so i think uh, i can go with the number 5 as the uh, as probably uh, they are going to fall ill five times a year um can i now go ahead with this yeah that's uh, seems fair to me please okay. go ahead um so um i think uh, my 0 to 18 will be falling ill five times a year apart from that um i think my 18 to 40 will be falling three times a year ill um after that um i think my uh, 40 to 60 class would be falling ill for the four times and you know a similar case goes for 60 plus population because they are also you know um in a uh, elderly stage and they are more likely to uh, be infected by any particular kind of bacteria or any disease so i think probably they will be falling six times a year uh, is, is that all a fair assumption and can i move ahead with the problem uh yes that seems uh, like a fair assumption please go ahead okay sure um so um uh, as i have already calculated the people who are actually you know in that particular age group and now i have how many times do they fall year, uh, uh, ill on an average in a year so i will probably come up with a number that total how many people fall ill okay so i will uh, for the first right. case let's say i will be multiplying my 35 crores um into 5 um so um is that good enough because so that come number comes out to be 175 crores um for the next case my number comes out okay. to be uh, 14 into 3 that is 120 uh, for the next case the number is 160 and uh, for the last case it is 120 crores okay mm, yes that seems like a fair assumption and uh, like yeah, correct calculation okay um so um now coming to this that uh, i've calculated how many times are they falling ill so probably um you know some percentage would be cough or fever or you know some uh, regular you know um uh, headache or some kind of problems wherein the pcr medicines would be used so probably i think i can now you know assign some percentages to these numbers uh, wherein i uh, that according to me fall ill for these particular times uh, so for the uh, the first case that is my the infant population that you were talking about so i think one fourth of the cases can be classified as they were either fever or some kind of cough so um 25% is my assumption on that regard so uh, my 25% of 170 crores roughly comes out to be 45 crores okay sure okay um so for the next case i've assumed that you know the people will be in a bit elderly age so uh, not that you know they will be adults at this uh, at this point so probably one fifth of the cases can be uh, related to uh, when the pcm medicines would be used so according to me a uh, 20% is a fair assumption on this regard so that number comes comes out to be 25 crores for All my right. next case i have kept this number to be same because i think you know uh, for this particular classification i can classify that my 18 to 60 will be almost in the similar case so 20% i am again assigning to this the number comes out to be 30 crores um so uh, for the last case i think that you know people will be more um oriented and will be falling more ill on the part uh, that is related to some bacteria and bacteria um the diseases containing the bacteria usually lead to you know some kind of fever or um or similar kind of diseases so i think probably approximately a one third of the population will be you know um, cons- um having some cough or fever related symptoms so for the fair assumption i've assumed it to be 30% so uh, that comes out to be my 35 cr okay um So uh, the submission of all of these numbers that we have calculated by now comes out to be one thirty five crores. But um, I think uh, you know now now we have a concern that we want to calculate um, how many medicines would be required. 
if a person is falling ill okay so uh, according to me um you know i've usually observed it uh, um around me or myself uh, when i'm fallen ill so probably i will if let's say if i'm having a symptom of fever so it is probably consistent for 3 days and i will have to take medicines at an interval or 8 or uh, 6 to 8 hours so let's say we can consider that we are um, you know uh, taking it for at least 3 days and 3 times a day so that makes roughly about you know 9 medicines will be required if a person is falling ill for each and every time um so um now we have the number and we know how many medicines are required for um, when a person falls fall ill each and every time so that is number 9 so um i can now move on to uh, multiplying both of these numbers so my roughly figure comes out to be 1200 cr so uh, 1200 cr is my number of medicines that or the number of tablets we can um, say because you know um, depending upon the uh, capacity and the company of the med- um, company producing the pcm so this number could vary upon the strip so it is a fair that we can and go ahead with the med- number of counts of medicines or the tablets so um i think uh, this will be my final answer for this and also that is that seems fair if you know i can um, just divide this number by entire population just to do my sanity check so that roughly comes out to be 8 to 9 medicines and that was our estimate that if a person is falling ill for each and every time so i think that is on the fair side that we can go ahead with this number what are your suggestions and recommendations on this uh yes arshad i'll say uh, great calculation and great assumptions and the number uh, is in the ballpark figure that i assumed so kudos thank you